One common summer annual broadleaf weed that you can find in Florida is Old World Diamond Flower. So Old World Diamond Flower is one where if it becomes problematic in a landscape, you're probably going to battle it for a while and you might battle it year after year. Um, but uh, it might not be in every single lawn in the neighborhood. It might just be kind of confined to particular areas. To identify Old World Diamond Flower, it's going to have opposite leaves. So the leaves are going to come out on opposite sides of the stem. And then a key characteristic of it is the fact that it has these tiny flowers that are on these little flower stalks. And those flower stalks are going to come out on, in the, uh, the leaf axles. So right where the leaf axles are in the stem, those flower stalks are going to come out. Those flowers are going to be typically white or maybe they might be pinkish in color. So as those flowers ripen, uh, they're going to turn into these little seed capsules and that's how Old World Diamond Flower is spreading uh, by seed. Old World Diamond Flower can be uh, fairly difficult to control, but that's just because it produces a lot of seed. Most herbicides are effective and then in planting beds, mulch and a lot of non-chemical controls are effective also. Old World Diamond Flower is also a weed that is not going to spread vegetatively. Uh, so you might have a lot of biomass on the surface of the soil, but it's only connected and it's only rooted down uh, in one little section. Uh, the plant can get very large, but that means that it's fairly easy to hand weed. So oftentimes, if you have just a small infestation, you can just go and pull them up out of the turf grass and be done with it. For more information on weed identification, contact your local University of Florida IFAS Extension Office.